Hey Pitmasters, what is up? Today we're going to be grilling a beautiful pork tomahawk. To go with our pork tomahawk, we're going to make some jack potatoes. We're going to start with that first because these jack potatoes, they need around an hour or so at 200 degrees Celsius. So you can either choose to use a, bit, a large potato, a little bit crumbly, or a sweet potato, which is also great for jack potatoes. I'm going to do both just to compare the two. I'm going to put these in a little bit of tin foil. Now I'm going to fire up our Napoleon Prestige Pro 665 and we're going to fire it up to a temperature of around 200 degrees Celsius. I got an elevated rack here which is going to provide us with the perfect indirect heat. So we'll put this on and at the back of the grill it's nice and hot. We'll close it up and keep checking our temperature. These are beautiful frozen peas. Look at them. Nice and crispy. Now of course we can't just have an ordinary split pea puree. I want to add a little bit of bacon for flavor. We'll put a pan on our sizzle zone, fire it up. I got some diced bacon here, we'll put it in a pan. We'll let the bacon crispen up and then we're going to take it off the grill. We'll leave the fat in the pan and then we're going to put our green peas in. We'll take a little bit of parsley, a little bit of chives. We're going to chop that fine. And we'll add that to our dish. We'll cut an onion fine. Then we're going to put our bacon back in. Salt, four seasoned pepper, and a bit of clarified butter. We'll stir that up. In the meantime, the onions will soften and all the flavors will mix together. So we'll put the green peas in the pan. Now we'll puree these peas with a submersion blender. Now it's time to start cooking our pork tomahawk. And we're going to do a reverse sear, which means we're going to smoke it first and let it come up to temperature and then give it a final sear. We'll use some paper towel to let it dry. It's a beautiful cut of meat, but during the processing, it probably got rough handled and it's kind of almost like falling apart. So we're going to put a little twine around it just to make sure it's secured. Some people, might not do it but I think it's a waste of such a beautiful coat of pork. Nice and stuck together, even a bit more round than it used to be. So we'll put it on a grill and we'll put it over indirect heat in a corner here. And this is quite a hot grill, we're at 200 degrees Celsius because of the jacket potatoes that we have on this side. This is a little bit colder so I'm expecting around 160 degrees Celsius. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some wood chips. I've soaked some apple wood chips and we're going to put these in our smoker tray. Close the smoker tray and fire it up. We're going to let the pork tomahawk smoke for around 30 minutes or so because we are looking for a core temperature of 63 degrees Celsius. It's almost been an hour and I want to check on our jacket potatoes. So I'm going to take off a smaller one and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a skewer and just pinch a hole in it and feel for resistance and there's not much resistance there so they should be done. Look at that. Super soft. It's absolutely done. Hot, hot, hot. Feeling hot, hot, hot. Now there's a lot of difference when you puncture into a sweet potato or a normal potato. When the normal potatoes cook, it has a much more resistance than the sweet potatoes. So you gotta be looking out for that. So we have a bit of cream cheese from a famous brand. We'll put that into a bowl. We'll chop up a little bit of parsley, a little bit of chives. We're also going to add a bit of salt and a bit of pepper. We'll mix that up. Now we'll do a quick taste test. Mm. Mm. Wow, that's really good. It needs to be a bit salty because we didn't salt our potatoes and we're going to put it in there and it's gonna carry all of the potato with the salt from the cheese. We're going to cut these sweet potatoes open and then we're going to stuff it with the cream cheese. 
I'm just taking a little bit of tin foil to keep these potatoes together but also to keep the stuffing in. I'll put a mix of shredded mozzarella and cheddar cheese underneath. On top of that we'll put some cream cheese and then a little bit more shredded mozzarella and cheddar. Now we'll put this on the grill just to melt that cheese a little bit. That's it. And let that cream cheese crawl into that potato. Absolutely beautiful. I'm really excited about the sweet potato and I want to give it the first bite. So let's open it up. Mm. That is really, really tasty. It's like being overwhelmed with flavors. It's really soft, juicy, moist, and, and there's a lot of flavor. The fresh herbs do a lot of work. But together with the cheese and the creaminess, it finishes off. This is a perfect side dish. Now let's try our potatoes. Now try this. Wow. A really good mix between the soft potato and the creaminess from the cream cheese. Perfect. I think our pork tomahawk is about done. Let's check. It's 62 degrees Celsius and that's the perfect temperature to start finishing it off because we want to end at around 63 to 65 degrees Celsius. So we're taking it off and we're going to put it on our sizzle zone. Now you want to keep checking your pork tomahawk because the fat of the pork will render down really quickly and will start to catch fire. We don't want it to burn, we just want it to crispen up. When you get a nice crust on the outside, it's ready to come off. We'll put it on the board and we'll let it rest. Put a little bit of salt on top and because it's a thick cut of pork, we can put a lot of salt on. We also want a little bit of salt on the fat cap. 10 minutes has gone by and it's time to slice into it. Whoa, wow, 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 wow. It's gonna be really good. Now before we're gonna taste it, I wanna plate it up first. Look at that, that's absolutely beautiful. And a pork tomahawk is something special, just like a beef steak tomahawk. There we go. Mm. Mm. It's nice and crispy on the outside, juicy on the inside. But what I love the most is that bit of fat, that crisp and up. It's so juicy and tender. The whole thing just comes together with the salt. Now we're going to put everything together to see if the green peas and the potato match together with the pork tomahawk. There we go. Mm. That is really a great combination. Mm. All the flavors of this recipe come really well together. So I hope you give it a try because it's well worth it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe video. And if you did, give me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And I wanna say a big thank you to everyone that's sponsoring this channel, everyone that's supporting us by hitting that sponsor button down below this video, or who is sponsoring us on our Patreon page. You will find the link down below in the video description if you wanna become a sponsor. And I'm sorry, it's just too good. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, keep on grilling and it's makkelijk.